Hey guys, this is Doug, Delta Oscar Uniform Golf, and the call is November 2, Whiskey Oscar Foxtrot. And I want to apologize, I haven't made many videos lately. We just recently moved and been unpacking for the last uh, two, two and a half months. Uh, been working, and uh, with this coronavirus going on, uh, everything's been basically chaos. So I hope you guys uh, are staying safe doing the right thing and uh, uh, doing everything you can to protect yourself and your family and before we begin today I would like uh, to ask you guys to, to hit the like share and uh, subscribe button and uh, we can get started here so I'd like to talk about if you're interested in becoming a ham radio operator um, and you don't know where to start um, I would suggest here this website ham radio test online now this doesn't mean you can actually take your test uh, on this website it's to help you prepare for the test um, it's kind of a little misleading um, but uh, years ago my son actually used the software um, and it worked quite well he was only 11 and had no problem um, passing his technician exam it's a uh, it's a good uh, it's a good program um, and it doesn't only uh, help you memorize the questions and answers uh, but it actually breaks it down and explains to you um, tells you the theories and so on and so forth so I found this to be one of the better uh, programs out there and it is 100% refund guaranteed um, it works extremely well um, I haven't heard anybody that has failed their exam using the software so for what it's worth there it is so um, at the same time you could be studying um, something to kind of keep you keep you motivated uh, if you come over to a site like Amazon here, um, uh, you have these um, SDR dongles, uh, $25, plugs right into your USB on your PC, or you can use a Raspberry Pi like I do, uh, and they work quite well. Um, now you want to look for the ones that show 0 0.5 parts per million uh, or less. And this particular one here for $25 gives you 25 megahertz through 1700 megahertz. So basically 11 meters through 1.2 gigahertz. Um, I have several of these. They work well, uh, especially for the price. Um, you know, and, and, and it is all mode. And it gives you something to listen to to keep you motivated. <clears throat> now if you want to go a step up from this, you could always jump into um, something like this, an SDR play. Uh, the nice thing about this, um, it has filtering um, involved in it, uh, but the frequency range is much better. Um, one kilohertz to two gigahertz. So this will cover basically all of the ham radio bands. Um, unless you get up into the, the 10 gigs and so on and so forth and this will actually cover shortwave and, and so on um, now this one is priced at 119 but trust me you're, you're, you're getting a lot for that 119 and I'm going to show you the software in a second <clears throat> um, there's multiple softwares you can actually run with this and you can actually run this on a Raspberry Pi also um, but the one that they actually suggest you run is SDR Uno. And let me minimize this, and I will bring that up. Now, I don't have an antenna uh, hooked up to this one. Like I said, you know, we just moved in a couple months ago. I'm just starting to get things set back up. Um, but uh, the benefits to this thing is, is fantastic. Uh, and you have the options of uh, saving certain frequencies and put it in scanner mode um, now it's not 
it's probably not going to pick anything up but uh, I'm going to hit the play play button on the scanner mode and you'll see up here um, where it'll scan through the frequencies that I've, I've put in here so let me hit that and as you see it scans around um, and I also have an aircraft one set up I don't know if that's going to pick anything up either probably not but anyway it's a it's a great piece of software and believe it or not as you continue on being a ham radio operator um, you're gonna enjoy having that SDR play um, it gives you the ability to have a second receiver next to uh, um, your your transceiver so but uh, I wanted to start with this video like I said wanted to show you uh, you know where you can get started at um, also you need to keep in mind when you pass your test um, where you can operate and where you cannot so the best thing to do is look up the band plan chart here and I'm not sure if this is the most current it's saying 2017 so as a technician basically you have privileges um, 10 meter bands where you're going to look for the the T right there for for technician uh, so 2800 uh, to 28500 um, and voice I believe is 283 to 285 um, then you have all of six meters, two meters of course, uh, 220, uh, 70 centimeters, 33 centimeters which is 900 megs, uh, 23 centimeters which is basically 1.2 gigahertz and then you get into the, the much higher ranges. However, I would like to suggest um, being a new technician if you have no technical background I wouldn't suggest going over 70 centimeters. Uh, you start getting into the frequency ranges of 900 megs, especially 1.2 gigahertz and higher. Uh, it could become dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, so as a new technician, not having much technical background, I'd probably stick mainly through 10 meters through, uh, through 70 centimeters, which is 440. Now, however, you do have um, more privileges on some of the other HF bands, but only in CW mode. Uh, for example, um, uh, 15 meters, uh, you have CW privileges from 21.025 to 21200. Um, let's see, you have 40 meter privileges, 80 meter privileges. Um, now, if you're not interested in CW, um, you don't care to learn it, that's still fine because there's a lot of computer programs out there that, uh, that you can use the PC to send and receive CW. So that's an option for you to be able to get on HF as a technician, um, operate on HF, but uh, let, the, let the PC basically send and receive uh, the CW code for you. So, um, with all that said, I'm going to end this video. However, uh, my next video is basically going to be on um, picking, uh, picking out equipment uh, as a new technician. Um, see, uh, you know, basically, um, you know, the type of the, the, the type of equipment that you should start off with and the type of equipment you shouldn't start off with so take care you guys I hope uh, I hope this helped you out some and uh, look forward to, to seeing you in the next video take care 7 3